Hello, this is Karen at the University of Idaho again, and in this uh, activity, you're going to be asked to make a dichotomous key. I'm going to make it simple. I'm just going to give you eight plants. That works out pretty well because you're going to ask yes and no questions about these plants. So I'm just going to give you an example with some other plants, and then uh, you can go to the activity. So you're going to open an Excel spreadsheet for this activity, and the first thing you're going to see are eight plants, the list of eight plants. And then to make it just a little easier, I've put um, it, the the plants down at the bottom of the screen so that you can see what they look like. Okay, when you make a dichotomous key, you're making a series of yes and no questions that divide the group you're working on in half. So first I've got these eight plants and I have to ask myself, what question could I ask about these eight plants that would be yes for four of them and no for four of them? So, and I'm looking at them. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them around a little so I can see what I'm doing. And I realize that some of these are woody plants and some are herbaceous plants. I'm gonna put all the woody plants over here. I'm gonna get a four, set of four of those. And then the other plants are herbaceous plants. So I'm gonna leave that as the second set. So the first question then will be, in writing it here in the yellow, is the plant woody? If the answer is yes, the plant will be either big sagebrush, it could be deer brush, it could be creosote, or it could be salt cedar. If the answer is no, that means it's a herbaceous plant and it could be Baltic rush, it could be cheatgrass, it could be buffalo grass, or it could be Nebraska sedge. I'm asking you to write those names there just because it helps you to kind of keep track of it. Okay, now we need to take this first set of four and divide it in half. So let's look for something that would separate those, um, and it's kind of hard. The leaves are all really different, so that's not a good care. Hey, but oh, but look, salt cedar and deer brush have fairly colorful flowers. So I could ask if the flower is pink or purple. That would separate salt cedar from creosote bush and from sagebrush. Okay, so the next question then that I'm gonna put in, you can be creative, but with the next question I'm gonna put in it are flowers purple or pink. If the answer is yes, that plant would be either salt cedar I'm sorry, it would either be deer brush or it would be salt cedar. If the answer is no, it would be big sagebrush or it would be creosote. Okay, so now I've got these two plants, deer brush and salt cedar. What's different about those? Well, geez, the main, main thing is how wide the leaf is of the, of the deer brush. So I'm going to put is the leaf wide and broad? And if it's wide and broad, then that would make a deer brush. And that means I've got this one off my list. And if it is, I'm sorry, deer brush. If it is narrow, then that means it's salt cedar. Okay, I'm sorry, salt cedar with a C, got it. Okay, now the, for these two plants, how would I separate big sagebrush from creosote bush? You, you know, big sagebrush is pretty unique because it has that, that leaf that has three teeth on it. So I'm, the question I'm gonna ask here to separate these two is the is leaf, oh, you know what? Here's an easier one. Leaves are opposite in creosote bush. Leaves are alternate in sagebrush. So are leaves opposite? That's an easy one. You could use the three-toothed question, but if the leaves are opposite arrangement, then that means that um, that would, if it was yes, that would be um, creosote. And if it was no, it would be big sagebrush. Okay, so we've got all of these taken care of. And now we're working on the grasses and sedges and rushes. So 
What would separate these into two groups? Easiest one, we could ask if it's a grass. There's two grasses here and there's two grass-like plants. So I'm going to use this, this question, is it a grass? Is the plant a grass? And that would be a way to separate these four plants. If the answer is yes, it's either cheat grass or it's buffalo grass. If the answer is no, it's either Baltic rush or Nebraska sedge. Okay, now I'm going to look at cheat grass and buffalo grass and ask what question could I ask to separate those. And the first thing that I see is that the the pan the cheat grass has a panicle. It also has long awns, whereas buffalo grass has a comb that is uh, actually a raceme and it doesn't have ons at all. You, you can zoom into these two if that helps. You can zoom in to see those a little bit better. But you know, probably the easiest thing would be if the plant has a long on. So let's use that as our question here. Does grass have long on? You see that you need to know some characteristics of plants. If the answer is yes, that's cheat grass. I'm sorry, there we go, cheat grass. If the answer is no, it's buffalo grass. And now we're down to the last two, Baltic rush or Nebraska sedge. You know, one of the really obvious things about rushes is that the, the, the stem expands above the seed. So you see the seeds there and then you see the stem goes way above them. So let's use that one. That let's say stem extends well beyond the seeds and flowers. So if the stem extends well beyond the seeds and flowers, that means that we got Baltic rush. If it doesn't, it means that we have Nebraska sedge. That's it. I've separated out all my plants. So that's the assignment. You're going to have ten, eight different plants, but this is how you do it. And this is the assignment that you will um, hand in for the activity.